Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to look at a beer from Stone Brewing. This is called Mocha IPA. This is a 9% ABV and 80 IBUs. Now on their website they do do a very good job of telling you more about the beer, what's in it, and stuff like that. They also have on their rate beer gives us a 98 out of 100. So we'll see what we think about that. I do have some notes here. The hops used in this is Cascade, Citra, and Amarillo. Now, uh, the Cascade's going to give us a grapefruit citrus flavor. The Citra is going to give us a uh, tropical fruit like a mango type pineapple. And the Amarillo is going to give us a floral tropical citrus. Now, this is the weird part is also on the website they ask the question, is this a half IPA, half stout. Now, obviously, just by looking at it and watching the pour, it doesn't resemble a stout at all. So we'll have to get a smell on it and see what it is. The style of this beer is a double IPA that they're calling it. So as you can see, the heads went down some from the pour that you guys saw. We are getting some lacing. I would say kind of off-white tan head medium to tight bubbles in there. If we look at the appearance, it is kind of hazy. I can see through it with some bubbles, but it's not clear, clear. So let's get a smell. Right off the top, I'm getting those tropical smells, the pineapple, the mango, tangerine, I'm also getting some pine in there. Like a hint of pine, maybe a tiny bit of chocolate in there. I'm not getting like your standard stout, like the roastiness or the toffee, caramel, coffee smell. I can't smell any coffee at all. Maybe, like I said, a, a hint of chocolate. Um, I am picking up some malt smell too, but really that tropical and um, pine is what's coming through. Let's get a taste. Very, very malty. I would say medium to almost heavy beer. Up front, I'm getting the tropical um, taste, like the pineapple, the mango, but in the back end, I am getting a lot of pine. Very, very big pine. Also up front, maybe a little bit of coffee. There is some bitterness up front. In the back, there is a lot of bitterness. And that malt present is very big in the beer. You're getting that almost through the whole entire thing. I'm not picking up any alcohol at all. Either on the tongue or going down, there's no alcohol burn. But I think that malt... All the malt they use is really covering that up. I'm not sure why they would call this a mocha IPA. I'm not getting that coffee really or that chocolate big time. It's mostly up front a little bit of malt and um, the, the tropical fruits. But then that malt and pine really punch you in the back and it does linger. It's still there. I would probably have to go with a 3.5 out of 5 on this beer. It is a good beer, but from what they're saying, I like I said, I'm not getting a lot of that chocolate or coffee flavor as in the stout or the mocha that they're saying. In the smell, I'm still getting the same thing as my first um, review that I did on this. The, the tropical fruits are coming through, the pineapple, tangerine, mango. There is a hint 
of pine and maybe some coffee in there. Not very much though. And the, the, the malt is starting to come out now that it's war a little bit warmer. So let's get a taste. Now that this beer is warmed up in the front, you are getting that um, coffee with some chocolate flavor. Then in the back, you're getting a little bit of pine with tropical fruits and uh, some malt in there. No alcohol presence at all in the smell or the taste, which I'm guessing that's why you're getting that malt taste. They used a lot of malts to cover up all that alcohol. A medium body on this one. Um, I would probably have to go with a 4.0 out of 5 on this one. Um, the mocha part, that coffee chocolate, is starting to come through in the front of the taste. So that's a good thing. But yeah, I would say a 4 out of 5. But when I first drank this, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. And that was because being cold, I wasn't getting hardly any coffee or chocolate. And now you are getting that on the front of the palate. And then the rest of the stuff in the back of the palate. Pretty good beer. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought about this. And I also have to say, if you haven't watched our Halloween, we talk about this a lot. Um, that... The beers are tasting different, obviously, when they're cold versus when they're warming up. And this one is a very good example of that. Like I've said before in this video, that I wasn't getting that chocolate, that coffee flavor until it warmed up a little bit. Tell me what you guys think about this beer. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, happy brewing.